Miro has boards, and boards can be used for serious things like brainstorming, planning, or diagramming. But we can also have some fun. In this video, we'll use Miro to complete this maze. And along the way, we'll cover moving around the board, zooming in and out, and how to only move things you want to. The first thing to know is that Miro's boards are infinite. They don't have borders, and you can move in any direction as well as zoom in and out. How we move around and zoom will depend on our navigation mode. Miro will automatically detect our navigation mode, but we can always change it by clicking on settings and then navigation mode. We'll cover how to use the mouse first and then move on to trackpad. Okay, so mouse navigation. To move around the board, we'll click and drag in any blank area. Notice that the cursor has changed to a hand. But look at this. If we click and drag on this object, the object moves instead of the board. In this case, we'll click the icon at the top of the left toolbar to switch to the hand tool. When our cursor looks like a hand, we can click and drag anywhere on the board without making any changes. Even these shapes can't stop us now. When we're ready to make changes to our board, we can press the cursor icon again. If the cursor looks like a pointer, we can edit our board. That's moving around with a mouse. But what about zoom? Simply use the scroll wheel on your mouse, like you would to move up and down a web page. Now onto trackpad navigation. Remember, we can switch navigation modes in the board settings. To move around the board, drag two fingers across the trackpad. And that's it. Two fingers across the trackpad. To zoom, pinch like you would on a smartphone or tablet. Okay, last tip. If any of that doesn't work for any reason, like your mouse gets stolen, we can always move around the board with the arrow keys and zoom in and out with the plus and the minus keys. Look at that, we finished the maze. Now we can navigate around our boards. <laughs>